Hi and welcome to our veterinary course talking about cattle theriogenology. Talking to you Dr. Mustafa Mashali and you can find the previous episode link in the description. Before we begin episode 3, I want to say a hint related to episode 2 part 2. As at the beginning I said that heifer must reach puberty and inseminate at 13 to 15 months of age. But what I mean is that to inseminate only. And at the end of the video I said that heifer reached puberty by 9 months. But we but we wait till heifer reach 15 months of age and I explain the reason why. Okay? As some people get a little bit confused as they understand that heifer will reach puberty at 15 months of age. But what I mean is that it inseminate from 13 to 15 and it reach puberty from 7 to 9 months. Today we are going to talk about the changes that occur at puberty. The changes that occur at puberty depend directly upon the activity of the ovaries, which have two functions. First, the production of female gametes, and the second, the synthesis of hormones. Female gametes are also called eggs or ova. We are going to begin with young heifer cough. What is the change that occurs in the ovary of young heifer cough? At birth after parturition when the young heifer is born, each ovary contains up to 150,000 primordial follicles. The ovaries start to develop and produce growing follicles, so primordial follicle will develop to primary, then secondary, then to pre -antral. But before we say the development of the follicles, we must explain the history and the mean of the primordial follicle, so we must understand the function and the role of the primordial follicle and from where it comes. During development of the embryo, cells from the inner cell mass undergo differentiation to become specialized stem cells that form various tissues of the fetus. Some stem cells become primordial germ cells, which are the precursors of oogonia in the female and spermatogonia in the male. Primordial germ cells migrate from the embryonic yolk sac to the genital ridge and populate the development gonads. The bilateral ovaries of the female and the bilateral testis of the male. We are going to enlarge the picture so in figure A you can see the migration of primordial germ cells having orange color from the allantois to the genital ridge which have the gray color. And the other picture is a transverse section showing the migration along the dorsal mesentery. Primordial germ cells in the bovine female fetus differentiate into oogonia during the first trimester of gestation. Oogonia divide mitotically well into the second trimester of gestation, generating a peak of approximately 2.7 million germ cells around day 110 of gestation. This is for today. Hope you all best of luck. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Thank you.